Hey guys, from 5 Rex back here again, and today I'm doing another Jurassic Park figure review. Um, this is part of Series 2, and it's Ellie Sattler. Um, so yeah, let's take a look at the front first. We got the movie collector card, and that's actually the... Sorry, there's like a glare. Alright, well there's the actor, Laura Dern. That's when they're finding Malcolm after the T-Rex escapes. And we got the Jurassic Park logo right there. More warning stuff. And then the actual figure. Yeah, these figures were pretty big compared to Star Wars figures. It's pretty pretty big here compared to Commander Wolf. If you could sort of just see. I know that's a really bad angle, but if you pulled one of these out and compared it to a Star Wars figure, it is a big difference. It's like that. But anyway, she comes with a grappling hook, some backpack to attach it, I guess, and I believe that's an Ankylosaurus. Yep. So let's take a look at the back. We got the basic Jurassic Park logo up in the top left, and then the instructions in the top right. Then we got the dinosaurs, we got the Lophosaurus. I'm not even gonna try and pronounce that, that looks way too. Lysinop, Ly Lysinops, Saber Strike Teeth. Then we got Tensitrophius, Cobra, Pachycephalosaurus, and the Velociraptor. And then the vehicles, which are pretty cool. Bush Devil Tracker and the Jungle Explorer. Then we got the dinosaurs, the extremely rare ones. Carnotaurus, a flying one, it's like a Pteranodon, I guess. And the young T-Rex. And over here we got the Dino Trackers. Harpoon Harrison, Jaws Jackson, and T-Rex Turner. So, yep, that's pretty much it. Yeah, Kenner didn't make that many of these figures for the first movie. They didn't get every character, but they got the pretty much main cast and the important people. Um, these packages don't really stand up well on their own. I mean, first attempt of this review, I tried doing it, but it fell and just backwards. Um, <clears throat> but you can see how packaging has just evolved over time for all toys. How they save money on plastic and all that. But whatever, I, I love these figures. And I'm excited for the new movie, and that's pretty much for this. That's pretty much it for this review. So I hope you like it, and I'll have some more coming soon.